Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news the New Zealand dollar rose over 76 US cents this morning. However, it's not just a weak US dollar that's a factor. We're actually up to 82 Australian cents and we're up also to 68 on the trade weighted index. So we're up against many of the currencies. It's not just the US dollar that's weak. Some comments yesterday by Alan Bollard, the Reserve Bank Governor, may have been a factor. He told Parliament's Finance and Expenditure Select Committee basically that there was nothing he could do to stop the currency from rising. He said the currency was not a factor in his decision on interest rates, suggesting he could put them up and he wouldn't worry too much about the currency. He also said that short-term intervention in the currency may not be a good idea. This appears to have encouraged people to push the currency even higher. This is obviously very painful for exporters and dairy farmers will be wondering whether the payout will stay above $5 a kilogram. Great for importers though, and if you're buying anything imported, ask for a price cut and point to that currency over 76 US cents. Meanwhile overseas, the hedge fund Gallium, run by Raja Rajaratnam, the guy in charge with insider trading, is forcing to liquidate the entire fund. $3.7 billion is being sold on the market. Essentially those accusations of insider trading have triggered a run on those hedge funds and have destroyed them in days. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. Thank you.